Hello everybody, it's me Axelmith, and today I'm going to show you how to paint a controller. Most of this will be muted because the original audio was very dated. So without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, first thing you guys are going to need is the green end of this sponge, a towel to wipe it off with to get the little dust particles off, primer, um, I chose a white one, I'm going to shake it up a little bit. You want a knife, the desired paint color, which mine is gold, a breathing mask, you don't want to get all the fumes in, and some masking tape. That's literally it. All right. First thing you want to do is take apart the controller. I already have mine apart, as you see here. Just put that down. Um... You know, you want to take it one end at a time. You know, there's two different ends, obviously. <laughs> um, this is what the inside of controller looks like. Those little things off the side, that is a little, that's what vibrates the controller. That too. And we got all the buttons. It's a good idea to take a picture of what it looks like before. That uh, thing on top, um, it's, I just plan on keeping black, but I'm, I'm sure it'll look good. Um, also, I couldn't get rid of the tag, so whatever. Just going to keep on keeping on. All right. So you want to do this in circular motions. I, and it's really hard to do that with an Xbox controller. So I'm just going all at it. The other thing that I've heard is that you can use sanding paper for this. But I also heard that the green sponge does less damage to the uh, controller itself, you know. Um, and what this does, you see everything that has that's plastic has kind of like this weird clear coat on it, and this gets rid of that so that paint sticks to it better, you know. Yeah, just keep, just keep going at it. And um, I ended up doing this like three or four times it's a lengthy process here and this is at like four or five times speed um you want to avoid the d-pad because I, well i mean i'm not painting it you can you can do whatever you want but i'm not painting the d-pad today so i'm kind of going around it you also want to go around the logo all right yeah and i'm unscrewing the d-pad there um there's little screws in it i'm not really sure what size they are i just grabbed a whole bunch of different screwdrivers um and then there's these like prong things that you gotta like get undone to actually get the d-pad out i'm trying to show you that right here um yeah it's it's ridiculous i, I ended up getting it out um it's two different pieces as you see it's got these right there it's got these little prongs that just clip in and it won't it was hard to let go and i'm just trying to get into that crevice of where the d-pad is supposed to go um just in case case paint gets in there because that will be the place that it starts coming apart the paint starts coming apart so yeah just kind of going back over that yeah and get around the label you don't want to get on it because you'll actually make make a mess of the label or the not the label but you know the insignia all right and now you want to wash it under water and with soap to get um what's left of those little dust particles off and like i said you want to do this three or four times you know let it dry go back at it let it dry go back at it and that gets rid of every single dust particle and it makes it and it gets rid of that uh, coat of whatever it is completely. Yeah, it's all wet now. I don't know what I'm trying to show you. This, And I swear that sticker won't come up. Okay, next it's masking taping it. And I don't have masking tape on hand, so I'm actually using decorative tape that is my wife's. 
So I'm going to tear some pieces off and you want to get, you actually want to get a little over than what you need. And there's a reason for that. And you don't want to just stick it down like right then. Okay. Cause what you want to do, and I'll, I'll show you this in a minute. You want to just put it down on there. You want to stick it to the top of it only. And you want to use your fingernail and get into the space between the insignia and the controller like I'm doing right there. Um, this required two pieces of tape. I'm pretty sure with wide enough masking tape you can get you can get it in one piece but yeah just get it all around. All right and yeah that's that's what it, you, you want it to look like. And this is where the knife comes in, and you want to go all the way around the logo, the Xbox logo, with the knife. And be very careful not to actually cut it, because, you know, because of the material it's made out of, it'll, you know, it's not going to, the cut's not going to, you know, not be noticeable, you know what I mean? It's a weird type of plastic. It's like soft. Just be very careful. You just want to be very careful around the Xbox logo. And I actually kind of screwed up there a little bit, but it's all right. And then just rip the paint, the uh, tape off, not the paint, the tape off. Yeah, you just want to go around, make sure that it's in that crevice. All right, and then I'm just going to do the serial tag on the back of it because I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. And that one kind of has a weird angle, so that was very fun. And you just want to make sure you outline where that tag is because, I mean, you could get rid of the tag totally. Yeah, you just want to be very careful. I, don't, I can't believe I didn't show going around that curve. Just want to be very, very careful not to cut the tag. Like I said, it probably doesn't really matter, but whatever. Yeah, so I got it all covered. Yeah, just toss that to the side. All right, and yep, this is where the primer comes in. Now, I only did like one coat of this, and you know, don't get over OCD about it because then um, it it'll come off way too easy, you know, because you want it you want the primer to grip both the paint and the controller. So. All right, and you want to not do it like I'm doing it right now. Um, I am an idiot. What you do is you do it in like stri strips. So you, and I wish I could show you how to do it, but this is wrong. You don't do it like this. Um, and you want a very light coat, unlike I seem to be doing, but it it it's still pretty light. Um, because if you get it too thick, it also droops. The paint droops, and you don't want that. It doesn't look good, you know. And um, it again, that will be a place that will potentially come off easier. And I'm just making sure I'm getting the shoulder buttons right there. Not very efficiently, but because I I did miss those. Um, yeah, the desired paint, I'm doing gold because I think everyone needs a gold controller. Why wouldn't you have one? Like, every console should have a gold controller. Even the Wii had one. I don't think the PlayStation 2 did, but I digress. All right, and this is also where you want the breathing mask. You don't want to breathe in the fumes. And this uh, particular paint, like the, the chrome type stuff, the metallic stuff, it feels like you're breathing in a lot 
a lot of dust. I should know because I didn't actually have a mask right here. So, and yeah, you can still see a little bit of white, but you know, you do a couple coats of this. And again, don't get overly obsessive like I did because you are going to do two or three coats of this. And again, strips, not like I'm doing. This is not strips. This is just going all around. All right, and I'm doing coat two, and I don't do that much better because, you know, I'm not a very smart person. And this is how I'm used to spray painting things. So, you know, just don't do it. It's not, it's not the way to do this. All right, yeah, I think it looks pretty good right now. Looks looks very gold. All right, next you want uh, clear, like a clear paint, um, and you want to spray it over that, and this will make it so that the paint doesn't feel as as much like paint. It'll make it actually feel like a controller you know what I mean how a controller usually feels that's what this clear stuff will do and I didn't add that at the beginning because I totally forgot and you just wanna not do it like I'm doing again do it in stripes and um yeah alright now I'm putting back the d-pad right now sorry for the poor camera work here it's just I'm not very good at again good at pointing the camera at places so I get the shot I want not very good at staying within the borders um, yeah so you want to screw that screw back in um, I showed you that I took it out earlier probably should have done that before I started doing that in the first place but you know um, I believe that there were two screws for that and I only showed you one there um, the buttons they should slide back into the slot that they were supposed to be but I'm not entirely sure about that so it, it's a very good idea to take a picture of the inside of the controller before you take or just the outside of the controller before you take it apart so you can know what side what button goes where and I actually screwed that up because I tried to put the white and black buttons on top of start and select they didn't fit but I still tried Yeah, I, I just put that back in right there. And um, these little um, pad things, it's actually how the D-pad will connect to con the controller, so that's pretty important. There's also one for the buttons. This is very interesting working on this because I didn't really know how these worked at um, at first. There's a, I was showing you that there's a little thing that connects to um, those. The... V um, rumblers go into a certain place, and I'm, you know, again, that's why I'm out of shot because I'm holding it closer to me. They go into a certain place a certain way, and you just gotta make make it get in there. And then, yeah, I'm putting this on like a Dreamcast controller, but yeah, there's this little thing that goes into a slot in the back that you want to get that into real well otherwise it's not going to f you know it the controller is not going the wire isn't going to fit um so yeah i'm just screwing these back in i've had uh i've had a few experiences with the um original xbox um it's been um I've mostly played like Star Wars The Old Republic and I didn't even complete that one because my ori my old Xbox froze up and I couldn't well it didn't even freeze up it's like whenever I'd leave a room it would freeze and it would crash so we had to get a new one and me and my wife bought one at a garage sale for like $8 and then we went and bought a cord at like uh Rehabitat for Humanity or whatever for like two or something like that and then we bought this controller for like eight so we got an xbox console for like about twenty dollars and um i already had a few games from o previously owning one and then yeah you want to take off the paint here the paint 
you want to take off the tape here. You want to take off the tape here. I'll just put that to the side. Take off the tape off the back of the uh, serial tag. That's just where the serial number is. Um, yeah, and there's one more screw on that uh, tag, that serial tag. So you want to screw that back in. Um, I really like how the gold and black really complement each other on this controller. I'm I'm not sure if that's going to be for all controllers, but it definitely for this one I think it really complements each other. It's an, it gives it a nice tone. And again, I think everybody needs a gold controller. Like I don't know if the Xbox ever had one, but um, I'm really glad I did this uh, experiment, guys. Um, it was fun making it. I'm pressing the back button because it was stuck a little bit, but it's fine. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. This video is pretty fun to make. I've been playing it for a while. Just haven't gotten it done. So I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Later.